My name is Muhammad Ahmad Yunus and today I will discuss about the conclusion and recommendation in relation to financial and non-financial performance of Ampol. Now let's begin. Ampol Limited was founded in 1936. It is an energy company which has market cap of 8.27 billion. It has share price of 34.58. It has 80,000 clients. 8,300 employees are working in it. It is a petrochemical and retail service station. It is providing services in mining, transportation, defense, marine, agriculture, aviation, and several commercial fields. Ampol is also an owner of Z Energy, which is selling 40% fuels in New Zealand. It has 20% stakes in Sea Oil Company in the Philippines. It has three main strategies, which are future energy, stability, and decarbonization. It has an objective to achieve 0% net emissions nationally. It has a goal to deliver sustainable value to Australian customers, shareholders, people and communities. It ensures that it generates ecologically positive sustainable growth in Australia. Now who are the stakeholders? The investors are the stakeholders and its purpose include financial and non-financial key performance indicators, sustainability performance and metrics, strength and weaknesses, business strategy. Now, as per gross profit ratio, it shows potential challenges in sustaining profitability. Now, this shows that the company must review its cost management and revenue strategies. Now, coming to return on equity, it shows that it has been steadily rising. However, it is showing an increased reliance on debt financing over the three years. And there is a high financial risk that underscores the importance of careful management to maintain a balanced capital structure. As per current ratio, it was above one over the three years. It is signifying the capacity to fulfill short-term financial commitments. However, ongoing vigilance is required to manage its liquidity position for sustained financial stability. As per debt to equity ratio, it has been rise over the past three years. And it shows that there is a financial risk and debt management needs to be managed for a balance between debt and equity financing. Now, as per my conclusions, my key findings include they were positive trends in return on equity and current ratio improvements. There were challenges that were evident in fluctuations in gross profit ratio and debt to equity ratio, despite facing uncertainties like market dynamics and environmental concerns. And Paul has shown a commitment to sustainability and growth. Now, what are the actionable recommendations to the investor? I have shared some, which are, it is recommended to the investor to maintain the current holdings for now. There have been challenges such as fluctuations in oil prices, also fluctuations in profitability and rising debt. He should monitor closely the impose financial updates, reports and announcements. He should regularly monitor financial ratios, market trends, operational performance to promptly identify and address challenges for growth opportunities. He should reassess the long-term investment goals and risk tolerance and initiate investment based on impose potential for long-term growth for its alignment to portfolio objectives. Diversification is also an important key to manage risk. He should review overall investment portfolio and evaluate whether it has diversified options in different sectors and asset classes. He should also regular portfolio review to ensure that it is regularly aligned with the financial goals. And as per the investment objectives, he should also revisit sustainability commitment and investors should take decisions on the investment while in a, analyzing the impose current financial situation, risk tolerance and long-term objectives. 
by focusing on these recommendations, the investor can navigate the dynamic business landscape, capitalize on ample strength, and address weaknesses. The investor can also position itself while aligning sustainability objectives with financial strategies that is essential for Ampos working toward net zero emissions for sustainable growth and success in the future. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.